Hi guys, it's now Saturday and we are, what are we? it's quarter to four. Uh, we've had an incredibly busy day. We've done, um, well, our biggest day yet in the shop sales wise. Uh, we've had a load of trade-ins, loads and loads of people have come in um, to check us out. And we've been out uh, in town promoting as well. We've been handing out balloons. Um, how many balloons do you think we've handed out? 50, 100? So over a hundred then probably. Um, and we've been handing out leaflets with a uh, promotional discount on. Okay, so these, these are the leaflets that we had done um, with 20% discount on. And a few people have been bringing those in so they've been working well. And then we have balloons made up with Ollie and Molly on that we've been handing out. It's been quite a family effort. We had my sister Jo come down Oh, I'm sure you can play. <laughs> <laughs> One army. So, oh, that's lovely. Show us your leaflets then. Go do it. Are you talking? Right, off you go then. Go spread the word. So, that was Ellen, my daughter, and David, my nephew going out with balloons to spread the word. Uh, it's been quite a family day really. We've had all sorts of family members in, which has been lovely, and friends have popped by. Um, so yeah, it's been a great day. Um, I've also got some footage of the twins, my sister's little twins, who um, were in the shop again causing trouble. So I'm gonna put that in here as well. What are you doing? I don't know that. Are you a dog? No, no. I don't know that. Oh, she's got one off. <laughs> right, mummy have that one, thank you. Hi, Miss, where are you going? Where are you going with my stool? Oh. Yeah. You trying on shoes, Erin? <laughs> so yeah, we've had a fantastic day. We've had lots and lots of family drop by and help out with promotion. And we've had friends come by. Um, my auntie Syl was in, so thanks Syl for the champagne, we will enjoy that later. Um, Andrea's friend Helen dropped by with some cakes, which didn't last very long at all. Um, I've also been busy setting up my office down here, um, because the plan is that I'm going to run my reselling from the back of the shop. So I've been, uh, yeah, slowly but surely bringing everything down, down to the shop. So now, when you come out the back in this little side office, I've brought my desk down uh, and my Mac and printer set up. Um, and I've just started bringing down some stock. This is a few bits that are listed. I have very little listed at the moment because I've um, not been listing for ages. So there's that and a handful of bits up here. And I've been trying very hard to get organized out here, but it's just still chaos. There's tons and tons of stock still just piled up. And we're putting winter stuff away up there. Um, but yeah, we're still working through all of this, getting all of that sorted. There's more storage there. Um, I did go out on, on Friday in Hitchin. 
yeah, on Fridays in Hitchin, there's like a, a sort of flea market thing uh, uh, where there's a couple of really good junk stalls um, where guys that do house clearance just turn up and, and just sell all sorts of random stuff. And um, I picked up a few bits from this guy. Um, I spent £15 with him and, and got a really good deal. So I thought I'd quickly show you uh, a few bits. Um, let me just put the phone down and I'll, I'll get set up. Okay. Whoops. Right. Um, yeah, so I spent £15 with this guy and let me show you what I, what I got. I got a camping gas burner. Um, I've been selling these on and off for years. They're always good sellers. Uh, this is its little plastic stand. Um, so now I'm going to struggle to remember what I paid because I kind of got a deal on it all. I think this worked out to be a pound and I sell these for about £10 with shipping on top. Um, this was actually in the back of the shop. It's a Smith's plug timer, so that didn't cost me anything. I just found that out of the back of the shop. Um, but I should be able to get, uh, should be able to sell that for about £10. Right, this was a really good pickup. Um, in the deal that I had off that guy, it worked out about £2 I got this for. And what it is, it's a brass uh, plumbing valve. It's unused and it's got its electric uh, actuator. Uh, like I said, brand new and unused in the box. Uh, I've sold one of these before and got really good money for it. Uh, I've looked this particular model up and I'm going to be looking at about 40 to 50 pounds on this. Um, plumbing equipment and parts and pieces are just, there's always a huge demand. I've done really well over the years on them, so don't pass this sort of stuff up, especially if it's new. Um, so yeah, pay two pounds on that, should get 40 to 50 back on it. And then a little brass uh, stopcock, 15 mil in, 15 mil out one. Fairly standard thing, but should get about fiver for that. Uh, and that was a pound. And then again with the plumbing theme, I got this. Now what this is, it's eight mil copper tubing. That's a 10 meter length of it. And it's brand new in its packaging. And I paid four for that. And that'll go for about 20 with shipping on top. And then I picked up these. This was all in that £15 deal. Now what these are is masonry drills. They're all about, what's that, about a foot and a half long. Um, I think they've all been used. Perhaps this one is the only one that hasn't. This one's really nice. Um, I'm really not sure on the value of these. There's no maker's name that I can see, but there's one, two, three two thin ones in there, so it's five, so that's six of them. Uh, and I paid five pounds for these. Um, I tried to get a value um, by looking them up, but it's kind of all over the place. Uh, I reckon I'll get about 10 to 15 back on them, hopefully. Um, so that was okay, nothing special there. And then this, which worked out to be two pounds in the deal, is a bit of a winner as well. This is a, I don't know if you can read it on there, a Rexel LV340 laminator, and it's an A3 laminator. So it's, you can get them for A4, uh, but this is the larger size A3 one. Um, I've yet to test it, I have turned it on, it all fires up. Um, but yeah, so I paid two pounds, and I should get 20 to 30 back on this quite easily. So that was a good little, Pick up. So I think I roughly worked out. Is that it? Yeah, that's everything. So from my fifteen pounds, um, I should get. I think it was about a hundred and. Well, let's work it out. So Twenty, thirty. Top in fifties, eighty, ninety. Yeah, hundred and ten, hundred and twenty pounds. So yeah. Um. Nice little pickup, really. I mean, I was only, only went to that one stall. Uh, I didn't pick anything up anywhere else. Um, five minutes of rummaging around in some boxes of junk. And uh, yeah. Okay, so that was my little bit of a pickup. 
Um, it's it's Saturday today, uh, but I didn't go out to the boot sales because obviously I was here working. Um, I can't see me going out tomorrow, and the weather is predicted to be quite iffy anyway. Um, but as I get everything set up down here, I should get back into a rhythm of listing uh, and doing sales updates and um, haul videos uh, when I go out sourcing stock. So things should get back to some sort of normality. Uh, but it all depends how busy the shop is because obviously that's going to take my time up depending on how busy it is and how much processing and work needs to be going on in there. Um, so yeah, so um, welcome to the new little office that I now have down here and uh, I'll speak to you all soon. Bye for now.